Air defense is massively important when it comes to modern warfare. The surface-to-air missile systems available to militaries around the world are highly advanced and are able to target and track incoming threats intelligently. Alongside Israel's Iron Dome, both America and Russia have their own air defense systems, making up the list of some of the best in the world. But which is better, the USA's Patriot system or Russia's S-400? Today, we're going to break down the two systems and decide which is more effective. The MIM-104 Patriot Air Defense System first arrived in the early 1980s as a replacement for both Nike Hercules High to Medium Air Defense and MIM-23 Hawk Medium Tactical Air Defense Systems. Today, the Patriot is used by 18 nations, with the United States operating the largest fleet of systems. They have 16 Patriot battalions operating over 50 Patriot batteries that have more than 1,200 interceptors in the field. Russia began developing its equivalent, the S-400, in 1993. Budget restrictions following the collapse of the Soviet Union, however, held back Russia's ability to design an entirely new system. Between 70 and 80 percent of the technology used by the first S-400 design was taken and adapted from the S-300, which includes missile storage containers, launchers, and radars. Testing on the system began in late 1999 or early 2000 at Russia's Kasputin Yar missile range. The first S-400 systems were operational in 2007 and entered service with the 1st Air Defense Corps responsible for defending Moscow. The Patriot had a difficult start to life, but in recent times is seen as one of the best weapons for defense on planet Earth. The first version of the system used an MIM-104A missile, which had a range of about 100 kilometers. This version actually had no capabilities against ballistic missiles and was used exclusively as an anti-aircraft weapon. After several iterations of the system, it was eventually named Patriot. This stands for Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target and the U.S. Army. Eventually, the capacity to intercept anti-ballistic missiles was introduced in the late 1980s when the Patriot received its first major upgrade. Shortly after, the system was put through its paces in the early 90s Iraq War. The original primary use for this conflict was to defend Israeli and Saudi Arabian troops from oncoming Iraqi scuds. Early reports suggested a success ratio of 40%. This prompted improvements that would see many updates to the system. Ever since the early 90s, the weapon's effectiveness in the Gulf War has been called under question. The Patriots' designers argued that the system was very effective, but this was countered by an almost year-long investigation in 1992 by a House Government Operations Subcommittee. The conclusion of this states there was minimal evidence that the Patriot downed any more than a few Iraqi missiles. Further investigations would find less than a 10% hit rate. It appeared as though debris was being counted as direct hits and the impressive television footage looked a lot more flattering than the real accuracy of the launcher. In contrast, the S-400 has had a very healthy reputation, but it's worth mentioning that the news of its effectiveness has mainly come from Russian sources, so needs to be taken with a pinch of salt. The S-400 primarily uses the 48N6 missile series. These missiles are designed to hit aerial targets at ranges up to 250 kilometers and are capable of intercepting ballistic missiles across a 60-kilometer radius using, in both cases, a 143-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead. Another missile series, the 77N6, has also been tested. Unlike other Russian surface-to-air missiles, these will use hit-to-kill technology and are designed specifically to destroy ballistic missile warheads. Currently, the Patriot already has this capability. The final missile series used by the S-400 is the 40N6. This is a long-range family that can extend the air defense capabilities of the system to 400 kilometers. 
The current deployment status of the 40N6 missile is unclear, and questions remain as to whether the S-400's radar capabilities will allow the 40N6 to make full use of its maximum range. Since the Patriot's difficult introduction, it's undergone several improvements that have made it one of the most desirable defense systems in the world. It uses a state-of-the-art aerial interceptor missile and very high-performing radar systems. Another advantage is that the Patriot is modular and highly mobile, meaning that it can be deployed in a variety of locations. Add to this the fact that a battery-sized element can be replaced in less than one hour makes the weaponry very appealing to armies regardless of location. Another advantage of the system is a very short response time, the ability to engage multiple targets at the same time, as well as the resistance to electronic jamming. The system uses a 17.4-foot length missile powered by a single-stage, solid-propellant rocket motor at speeds of Mach 3. The missile weighs 2,200 pounds and its range is an impressive 43 miles, similar to the S-400. In terms of detonation, it has a 200-round high-explosive warhead which uses a proximity fuse which causes shrapnel to destroy the intended target. Putting the technical specifications next to each other, both systems have their own advantages. The S-400 system can detect threats within a range of 372.8 miles and it has different types of missiles for shooting down threats at different ranges, from 24.8 miles to 248 miles. The Patriot's radar can detect threats within a range of about 93.2 miles, while it can shoot down targets within a range of 12.4 miles to 99.4 miles. The Patriot needs 25 minutes to be ready for launching, while it takes only five minutes for the S-400 in comparison. The S-400 can lock onto 72 targets at the same time with the detection of 160 targets, while the Patriot can lock onto only 36 targets and identify 125 by radar. However, these details are only as good as the agency that reported them. So with the U.S. being the more transparent nation and Russia known to message their information, these details should be taken with a pinch of salt. But assuming these details are true, then it looks as though the S-400 has the upper hand. However, this doesn't include the hit-to-kill weaponry that makes the Patriot so effective. This may become a feature for the S-400, but it remains to be seen whether it will be successfully implemented. It's widely considered by experts that the S-400 is the best overall choice for defense, but if it's ballistic missiles you need protection from, then the Patriot is the best solution. What do you think about the Patriot and S-400 systems? Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.